Welcome to today's webinar series event sponsored by KPI Partners. My name is Jeremiah Johnson and I'll be introducing you to today's session. Today we will be hosting an event in our webinar series called Why Integrate OBIEE, Space, and Hyperion? The objective of today's session is to understand why an enterprise would integrate these technologies and discuss some real-life customer case studies. For those of you who may not know, KPI Partners is the most experienced implementation consultancy in the area of Oracle Business Intelligence and Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management. In addition to strategic consulting services, KPI offers training and education through KPI University and exclusive pre-built solutions for Oracle Business Intelligence. Please check out the latest thinking area of our website at kpipartners.com for all kinds of helpful content, case studies, videos, archived webinars, free ebooks, and more. For today's webinar, we are pleased to be joined by Mark Jocelyn from KPI Partners. Mark is the Senior Director of Business Development at KPI. Mark joined KPI after 10 years at Oracle and Hyperion and over a decade working within the ERP market. Ass assisting Mark for a portion of today's presentation will be Sid Goel. Sid is one of the partners and founders of KPI Partners, who has also spent time in leadership positions at both Siebel and Oracle. Sid launched an ebook a few months ago called The Project Analytics Framework. I encourage you all to download a free copy from kpipartners.com. It has been downloaded nearly 1,000 times since it, its launch last September. If you want to find out more about KPI Partners or how we can assist your organization with Oracle BI, Espace, Endeka, or Hyperion EPM, please contact us through our website at kpipartners.com. I will now bring in Mark from North Carolina to kick off today's uh, presentation. Uh, Mark, uh, I heard from someone recently that your first job was working on a ground crew for a company that flew advertising banners over the beach. Is that true? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. I did not know you know that uh, about me, but yes. So my job was to be the uh, uh, ground crew and guide them in when they peeled off the banners. And jump out of the way and out of the the way of the grappling hook as it came at me. Sounds a little crazy. All right, Mark, the floor uh, is yours. All right, thank you, Jeremiah. Um, well, I want to welcome everybody to uh, our webinar uh, on why you'd want to put OBIE on top of S space and why integrate. You know. First of all, because we've got a uh, very large audience today, and I want to make sure that we're all on the same page, I want to level set a little bit for uh, those in attendance on what is all of the stuff we're talking about. You know, what is the difference between BI and EPM? Why integrate them? Okay, and then talk a little bit about some of the case studies that uh, we've had at uh, KPI Partners being very successful with uh, uh, this approach. So what is all the stuff we're talking about? You know, the OBIE, the S-Base, the Hyperion. Well, OBIE is a enterprise-wide reporting and analytics tool, okay? So it provides interactive dashboards reporting to enable the online analytic processing and ad hoc querying. Now, the OBIE that we're looking at within 11G is a lot different than older versions in the fact that it has really matured, really assimilated a lot of the old Hyperion tool functionality. Ideal for transaction level analysis and really the enterprise-wide approach to reporting. So this is Oracle's strategic answer for all enterprise-wide analytics. Now, S-Base, you know, extended spreadsheet database is really what the term stands for. So if you think of taking an entire stack of, you know, spreadsheets and to where they're a big block of paper, and if you just digitize that into a database, that's what S-Space is. It's 
optimize for having an interactive communication uh, with your data, you know, being able to query it at the speed of thought, you know, and really uh, provide that support because it's a standalone database of the what if analysis. So not only how am I doing by product, by uh, time, by scenario, but what if I change X, what will it do to me going out in the future? So this is used for really a lot of tremendous analytical calculation engines. Now, as Jeremiah introduced uh, me, I had a, a long tenure at Hyperion, and I saw many of their transactional applications, you know, uh, come into the marketplace. So, saw the first versions of Hyperion Planning, which is in fact an app. It leverages S space, but it's still a transactional app. We're going to put in a planning transaction. We're going to and you know put in other types of transactions. So when we talk about Hyperion, you know, uh, standalone, it is a collection of various applications that finance uses for strategic planning, financial consolidation, you know, uh, data quality management, you know, strategic finance, and scorecarding. So the beauty of all of these is they really do come together to provide a better product offering that Oracle has never been able to assemble before. Now, the number one thing and the number one takeaway from this webcast, if you don't remember anything else, remember this one comment. Use the tool for the right job. Don't overextend the tool to make it do something it was not intended to do. So understanding what each product does, leveraging its intended use to build each string upon the other. So leveraging OBIE and enterprise-wide analytic tool on top of the most used OLAP tool in the marketplace, S-Base, in conjunction with the great applications that Hyperion has brought to the table. So the key takeaways really are, you know, to uh, not overextend, but to really use OBIE, you know, for reports and dashboards, and, you know, for all type of analytics. Also, S space for that what if, that calculation engine, that forward thinking, you know, capability and the Hyperion transactional uh, applications to, you know, do your planning, to do your strategic uh, operations, and also your consolidations.